Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Mods. Today, we are going to mount a tiny, tiny little butterfly. We're gonna mount a fulvous hair streak, Electrostrymon angelia. It is a tropical butterfly that we have only in southernmost Florida. And I caught two females and one male. The females are over there in a cup with host plant. I'm trying to get eggs so I can show you the life cycle, which would be really cool. So pray that we get eggs and <laughs> hopefully we get some eggs and we get the uh, caterpillars going and I'll show you the life, life cycle of this beautiful butterfly. But Fulvis Hair Street, guys, is a beauty and it's got like this really cool, very unique metallic copper coloration on the four wings. In fact, I'll show you them in my collection. Uh, some of them that I caught 15, 20 years ago. Um, and, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you just some techniques on how to mount a hair streak butterfly. They're very, very delicate. And in fact, this male that I caught, I put it in my ethyl acetate kill jar and I forgot that there was a little too much uh, ethyl acetate in the jar and the ethyl acetate saturated the specimen, which means ethyl acetate is an alcohol. It starts to eat the fats, the lipids that keep the butterfly flexible. So it's probably gonna be a little bit stiff. Hopefully I'll be able to get the specimen mounted um, and I'm gonna show that to you guys and hopefully we can do that. Guys, let's get to the video. Don't forget to like the video. That helps out our channel. Let me show you how to mount a hair streak butterfly. All right, guys. So first step in mounting a hair streak, you got to have the right board with the right size groove in here for the abdomen to, or the body to fit in. If you use a board that has too big of a groove, then the, you're going to have a very hard time getting your hair streak to look, to look nice as a mounted specimen. So uh, this groove, I've mounted plenty of hair streaks on it. That's why I know it's got, oh, probably a third of an inch, no, maybe a quarter inch groove here. I, don't, I haven't measured it, but I'm, I'm guessing. And this is the perfect size little groove for most of these small blues and hair streaks, okay? Now, next step, this is a little tiny strip of cardstock. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut two pieces of this about, I don't know, two inches long each. Okay, so I've got two little strips of this cardstock paper, and then I'm going to get the board ready um, by taking these strips, and I'm gonna pin, I'm gonna get this board ready to mount this specimen. One strip, and then two strips. And the, the goal of these little strips is to, when you pin your butterfly, it's gonna be in here and the wings are gonna be held underneath these strips. And you pin these strips down over the wings and that holds them in place. And then you can manipulate where you want the wings to go. Then you cover the wings with a bigger piece of paper. So uh, that's the purpose of these strips. And the reason that we set this up before we get our butterfly out is because our butterfly, like I said, was submerged. It was co completely saturated by ethyl acetate. So that means I dried it out as fast as I could when I realized it happened, but it's probably gonna be a little stiff. So I, what I did is I put it in an envelope, I put it in my refrigerator in a, in a Ziploc bag to try and preserve as much natural fluids in the specimen as possible until I was ready to mount it. Now. This is ready. I've got my paper that I'm going to put over the wings of the specimen. Now it's time to go actually get our specimen from the refrigerator. All right, here is our refrigerator. And then I've got my specimen here. Here we go, guys. There's my hair streak. It's in a glassine envelope inside of a Ziploc bag. And I, I took all the air out. And the whole purpose in doing that is to make sure that, and actually a refrigerator is actually a pretty dry place, if you don't know that. The refrigerator machine actually takes, it absorbs moisture. And so you don't, if you leave something in the refrigerator, a little butterfly like this, the refrigerator, just from being in the refrigerator, it will dry out all the natural fluids. So uh, I keep it in a Ziploc bag to preserve those fluids. 
So now I'm just gonna take this out. Here's my little hair streak. And I'm gonna open it up. All right. There's our little fulvous hair streak, guys. It's got a little bit of pollen, pollen. It's got a little bit of scales that have been taken off the upper forewing there. But this is actually a very, very fresh specimen. Um, and I can't wait to show you the copper coloration. So um, guys, for these little butterflies, here's my finger. You can see the size of this butterfly. This is my pinky finger. And it's an inch, guys. It's a little bit more than an inch wingspan. And it is actually very stiff. And I'm very upset about that because um, I'm hoping I can salvage the specimen. It's very, very stiff. So one of the things that I like to do is I take my tweezers. And I'll get my tweezers on either side of the thorax. And I'll give the thorax a little a little pinch with the tweezers. And that loosens up the muscles a little bit. A number two black enamel pin. All right, so I've got my black enamel pin, insect pin, a number two, and that's what I'm gonna use to pin through the thorax of the butterfly. I've got my butterfly, and I'm just holding it very, very gently by the thorax with my two, my thumb and my index finger. And what, what you do is you take your pin and you gotta go in through the thorax, not the abdomen, the center of the thorax. And you go through. Oh, wow. The head just came off. Well, the head of my butterfly specimen just came off, guys. Uh, the, the ethyl acetate really, really did a number on this specimen. Well, you can see the in incredible copper coloration on this butterfly specimen, guys. Um, I don't think it's going to work out. I'll try and mount this and then glue the head back on. Um, and I'll see how that works. But boy, that is... a uh, that's a rough, um, <laughs> rough thing, man. When your when your butterfly gets soaked in ethyl acetate, it doesn't it does not work. So it's uh, you got to keep that from happening as best you can. The first thing we do is get the butter specimen high enough on the pin um, where the body will fit into the groove of the board, and then. Put the body down into the groove, get our little strips up and over the top of the wings. It might actually work, guys. I'm gonna pin the, the wings down with this little strips. Okay, so the wings are pinned down. Now the trick, and this is, I don't know how this is gonna work, to use the vein of the butterfly, I start with the left side since I'm right-handed, and I'll go up. These are, this is so stiff. The ethyl acetate really did a number on this specimen. All right. Yeah. Oh, it's so stiff, guys. I'm so sorry. That is part of the deal. All right. That side worked out actually better than I thought it would. But I'm going to raise this one up too. Yeah. It's so stiff, so inflexible. Okay, there we go, guys. It's actually worked out 
a lot better than I thought. So what I'll, what I'll do, we'll actually try and save this specimen, guys. Um, the wing, forewing here is a little folded underneath. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the head and I'm gonna try and glue the head back on here and see if we can salvage this specimen. Um, but the first thing we gotta do is pin the wings down with paper. So take this bigger, thicker strip and cut. Okay, cut two. And then what we do with these two strips here is we'll take We'll take this strip and just with two pins, it doesn't have to be crazy, don't have to go overboard, just pin the wings down so they, they don't dry and curl when they dry. So if you don't do this, the wings will actually curl. So I pin this down and Voila, this specimen is ready to just sit and wait. In fact, what I can do is I can pull, I put some pins in the wings to kind of hold them in place while I got things settled. So I'm going to pull those out. And now this specimen, guys, is ready to, this is drying now. We're just gonna wait a week or two until the specimen dries. Then we'll take it off the board and we will, here's the head that fell off. I feel so bad about that, guys. The little head fell off. And what I'll do, for the sake of our video here, I have to save the head. And what I'll do is I will just really gently pin this piece of paper gently over the top of the head. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. As you can see, that piece of paper is very, there's a big gap in there. And the head is just pinned down so we don't lose it. And now we just have to wait a week or so for this guy to dry. And then what we'll do is we'll glue the head back on and put our specimen in our collection. All right, guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you Electrostrymon angelia in my collection. So let me see, where is it? Is it there? Oh. Satyrum Electrostrymon. There we go. All right. So, guys, here is Electrostrymon angelia in my collection. These are all probably 20 years old, these specimens. Um, the males are here with the bright copper on the inside of the wings. And the females also have a copper color, but it's a little bit smaller, not quite as showy as the male's copper coloration. Males are a little bit larger, and um, the wingtips are a little bit more pointed at the front. On the, on the very wingtips uh, of the males are more pointed. Females have a little bit more of a rounded forewing. And so that's how you kind of tell the boys and the girls apart. This is Electrostrymon sangara, and it's this one's way more rare. <laughs> uh, and so these guys here, this is my Electrostrymon little space. I don't need any more specimens, so I was just, I'll probably be donating, you know, that specimen to the museum, uh, the McGuire Center for Lepidoptera Research. But I did want to show you how cool the Electrostrymon angelia is, the full of this hair streak, um, how cool they are when they're freshly mounted. They're, it's a beautiful, beautiful specimen, beautiful species. All right, guys, sorry that the head of my butterfly fell off. Um, that's what happens when you douse insects in ethyl acetate they they get that all the fats in the body get dissolved and it makes them very very stiff and 
unpliable, so that's why you gotta take care of your specimens. I thought my jar was was uh, dry, but it was not. So, um, but I think we're still gonna salvage this specimen. So we're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna glue the head back on. So uh, guys, hope you liked the video. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, we're gonna show you some cool butterflies and moths of South Florida. So guys, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and find some bugs. Take care now.